All right, guys. Let's see how long it takes Snoopy to realize that there's two coming down, guys. Let's see what goes down here. So far, I have to zoom up in here see what's going on with this guy. Hey right, guys, let's see what he does. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> guys, I think it's probably because he's new to the tank. He's a little bit... He's a little bit less wires to the game. Charlie Brown here. He's pretty much all over it. Like, he's, like, eating. He's like, give me, give me. He's, like, just going at it. Like, he's just going at it, like, full force. This dude right here, he's probably going to take some time to get adjusted. So, let's see what he does. I don't know how you could get him to start eating. I mean, he ain't touched the... Not even a drop yet, so I'm seeing what's going on here. Watch this guy. See, my thing is, guys, he's a little... He's just a little bit timid, but hopefully he'll start to get the idea to go eat. Right now he's starting to go down. Oh, wait, he's checking himself out in the mirror. Let's see, guys. If I just put my finger up by the glass, I'll pop my finger up. Come on, buddy. He came out a little bit now. I said, guys, he's actually a pretty nice looking fish there, Snoopy. Is here. Let's see who's going to go eat some food. I guess this is mainly that they're slow. When they're new to a tank, I guess it takes them a little while to adjust. So that's basically what we're doing here is letting him, and let him get adjusted to his environment. Like I said, guys, you have Speedy Gonzalez, uh, Charlie Brown over here, who's just ripping it up. He's like just eating like crazy. I mean... He's doing extremely well. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the Snoopy here will start eating at some point. Like I said, there is food. There is food accessible for him, too. Because, like I said, there is food floating, like, right up on there, guys. There's food getting all up on there in the water, floating all across getting pushed back and forth by the fall chasing. So like I said, he's got food. He's just got to go up and eat it. That's what it is. There was a pelt like right there, a little granule. Guys, let me see if I can tap the, gently tap the tank to get him to. There you go, guys. I got to flush him out this time. Just trying to encourage him to come out and go eat some food, you know, like I said. There you go, guys. He's finally out from by the area. He's finally realizing he's got to eat. Let's see what he does. Well, he sees that there's some pellets down there. He's looking at it. Guess what I will say, he's very docile, so I'm going to go ahead and put a pinch in on the side for him so he can get some food. He's more like slower, so let me go ahead here and help him out. 
So I so said we have Speedy Gonzales over here ripping up, ripping up the things. So let me, let me go ahead and give him some, go ahead and give him a little bit, a little bit of uh, food to eat. I guess that wasn't barely anything on my finger. So hang on, let me go ahead and. There you go, I got some in my fear this time. Hand. Go ahead here and get something down to him so he's got some. Let me go ahead here, guys, and see what he really does with it. Now he's got food coming down. Let's see what he does. Because like I said, guys, so far, he's pretty healthy. He's just got to eat. That's the whole thing. So hopefully he'll start to catch on, guys, and he'll want to go eat. Let's see if I can... See if I can just gently encourage him to go eat. Come on. See guys, like I said, with Snoopy with Snoopy right here, he's just he's a different character. He's you know he stays on the bottom of the tank, guys. So I'm guessing he waits for the food to come down to him. I'm not sure if he's able to eat a pellet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something with this guy, okay? He might be able to eat a pellet compared to the other ones. So what I'm going to do, do something different. Since he's he looks to be a little bit bigger than the other guys, so like I said, I don't think it's going to be an issue. So let me go ahead and grab a pellet for him. So I know Charlie Brown won't be able to eat it. So we go ahead here and grab that guy. Uh, uh, uh. He's trying, but he knows he can't. So now... I'm going to get him too passing his attention first off, guys. Let me get in the corner, corner pocket for him. I want to fall right in front of his eyes so he sees it. Crazy. Here you go. Let me get his attention. As I said, I'm seeing that he's a little bit slower to um, eating. I put some pellets in there because like he looks like he's big. He looks like he's big enough to eat them. So let's see what he does. He'll he'll probably end up eating something out of this. Like I said, it's kind of. Unlikely he's not going to touch anything. He'll probably eat. I mean, I don't know if he's on a different diet compared to this guy here. Like I said, he's, you know. I'm going to watch him real carefully, guys. Let's see if he eats. He's bound to eat something by this point in the game. He's sitting over here by me. guys yeah there he's sitting right there yes like I said Charlie Brown is He's extremely healthy. So is uh, so is Snoopy. He's just got to start eating. That's the main. That's the main. That's the main thing here, guys. You know, he hasn't touched anything yet. But like I said, I guess he's rather bashful. I'm, that's what I'm gathering. He's really shy right now. He's just really, um, he's really timid. See, I don't know how much they fed him before I picked him up when I went there to get him more pet supplies. So like I said he could have had. He could have had a big, uh, big uh, pile of flakes fed to him. I don't know. Um, but like I said, these touchers over at Pet Supplies, they terrorize these poor guppies. You know, I wish they had a knowledgeable aquatics person. You know, a few knowledgeable aquatics people. 
um, because that's what causes a lot of the aggravation for a person. You know, you get, you get people that don't relay the message to the other person, say, hey, these fish are here are males, these here are females, you know. It's all basics of fish and aquatics. It's not the hard things to know. Even I could tell you guys that the duller color fish are females and the brighter color fish are males. You know, it's, it's, it's just the basics. See, that's why I don't, I can't figure out, like, why people, I don't know why people just don't relay the message. That's, you know. Let me go ahead here and try and give him some, well, I guess I'm going to try and get him some food. He's kind of slow eating. I don't know why he's, he's gallivanting, basically. He's monkeying about. I don't know what he's doing, but. Like I said, hang the, hang the hood a little ways to the side. Here we go. And you got old Charlie Brown. I mean, he's just, he's right on top of things. He knows, he knows what it's all about by this time of night. He knows that between five and, between five and six, I feed them. So like I said, he knows what it's all about. This one here, he's got to, he's got to learn. He's young, sure. So like I said, he's just, um, he just got in the tank today. So I'm going to give him a chance to get act, 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 um, um, aqua, equated to the uh, tank. So I'm going to let him get, uh, I'm going to let him acclimate to the tank, guys. That's what I need to let him do. But hopefully, I have high hopes that he'll start eating. So I'm going to keep watching. Let's see what he winds up doing. Like I said, I just want him to eat, so I make sure he's getting, so he make, so I know he's getting food. That way, I know he's not going, I'm um, going without the food he needs to be having. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, guys, to me that's very important. You know. Let's see, can we put that on top of that wire so we get to sit? Watch. I think that's as good as we're gonna get it to sit. There you go. Yeah, like I said, guys, Snoopy here, he's a pretty decent size. Um, so, obviously, he was eating really well and they had him. He's just really mellow. That's what I'm picking up on right now firsthand. So, hopefully, I don't know if I have to go back for flakes or what it is, but um, we'll see. I'm going to get, I'm gonna let him get used to what, where he's at right now. I'm going to give him another day. Or two days to get used to it, so give give or take. Wait till I'm gonna wait till Monday and see what he does. Or by tomorrow, because guys, typically when a fish is hungry enough, they will eat. Um, like I said, it's Anna Louise. She she mainly breeds betas, but like I said, I'm not sure if she's ever going to get into guppy breeding. But like I said. I think it would be really relaxing if she even tried that. I know she sells her, she sells her little betas basically. She has some pretty nice ones too. Um, yeah, if any of you guys are looking for an easy to care for fish, I highly recommend the guppies. They're really good. They're super hardy. Um, this one here, he's just new to the tank, so he's going to be more shy. He's not going to be very outgoing, as most of them would be. So, like I said, he's going to be more timid. So, I'll let him adjust. But, like I said, this guy over here, Charlie Brown, he's just kicking butt. He's just doing really well for himself. I mean, oh, jeez. He's in the middle of... Uh, he's in the middle of... Um, swimming about the tank and hitting the bathroom right now, so we'll let him do his thing. As you guys can really tell what's going on. Like I said, he's actually really active. I want to see how active, um, how active Stoopy becomes. 
Let's see, guys. He's going over to check on him right now. This is one of the funnier things about uh, about Charlie Brown, guys. He is, even though he's in the, <laughs> although he's in the middle of taking a poop, he's just going over to see what he's going over to make sure Snoopy's all right, which I think is pretty cool. Um, these fish do look out for one another. It's kind of funny, and not all fish bully each other. So just this this just goes to show you that the characteristics of guppies, they do have their concern side where they'll check on the other tank right, to make sure they're okay. Some fish guys, though you you will get the occasional you will get the occasional bully in the tank that will pick on them. Like I said, guys, in in pet supplies case, it's the neon the neon touches or whatever. Yeah, neon touches. Those are. The touchers, whatever touchers they're called, those are the ones that are picking on these poor little guppies. Like I said, and it's it's rather it's rather um, it is what it is because they don't have any experienced aquatic people that can relay the message to each other and say, "Hey, these are males, these are females," and then they'd be able to put these guys in in the right. They'd be able to put them in their tank by by themselves, you know. Um, but otherwise, yeah. I'm, I'm rather happy with their selection of fish. All of their fish are really healthy, and they're all the fish are really well stocked. So yes, I'll be going back there. Um, hopefully it'll be Tuesday coming up next week, guys. So I'll be going back there for their for the females. Um, like I said, we'll see what Stoopy does here within the, within the time. Uh, he's got uh, just got him today, which is today is the ninth, so he has till the sixteenth. So hopefully, guys, he'll be hopefully he'll still be kicking about and still still going. I'm gonna let him come. I'm gonna let him get used to his environment and let him acclimate. Like I said, I had him in the t in the bag for 15 minutes earlier. And guys, these were my very first fish as a kid, which these were guppies. Um, for anyone that wants to do fish. I highly recommend you avoid goldfish. They're just big stinky carp. That's what they are. They'll cloud up your water. They're not good. These guys here, they won't do any of that. They're really easy to they're really easy to maintain. Very easy to feed. Um, they have they're very hardy. They have really nice coloration. Um, and they're not very advanced. Even for an adult or kid that wants to have fish. I recommend you guys have a tank like this, an Aquion 2.5 gallon, 2.5 gallon tank with a smart water change thing on it. And the heat, you can get an a Aquion 7.5 watt heater, which actually works just fine. Your temperature strip, guys. We're sitting at luckily, right now, we're sitting right about 80. Oh, yeah, let me back up a little bit. 80, 82 degrees. Yeah, we're, we're sitting about 70, 80 degrees. So, yeah, the temperature is just right for them. It's not too cold. Like I said, for this guy right here, he's just getting used to, um, he's just getting used to the tank. He's just, he's just getting adjusted right now. So I'll let him, let him adjust everything and he'll, he'll do just fine. You know, given time, he'll start eating right now. I don't see him eating right off the bat. Um, Hopefully it's not the case of I have to go by go by flakes. That would not be what I was hoping, but we'll see what we'll see what he does. Like I said, guys, we'll see what he we'll give him a chance to get used to the environment. I'm pretty sure he will start eating. Any fish that gets hungry enough, uh, they will start eating, guys. If they don't eat the first day, don't be alarmed. That's usually because the first day is the hardest for them to get used to the environment. They're getting adjusted. So this little one right here, um, Charlie Brown, he got he adjusted right away and he started eating. Like I said, all guppies are different from each other. So like I said, all fish are different from each other. He's just like hanging out in the water, like looking at me. He's like, <laughs> he's just all going to the bathroom. <laughs> Guys, he's just. He's still going. He's still in the middle of his, in the middle of his thing. 
Let's let him be, give him his, let him do his deal. I said, guys, that's for this guy. Hopefully he'll start eating. So like I said, he is a little, let me move up my doctor, my doctor pep bar all the way. If, if you ask me in my opinion on this guy here, he's just a little, he's a little, not too timid. He lets my finger by the side of the tank, so he's not, he's not backing away too much. He's going. He's checking out everything. He's going the opposite direction. He's checking out the plants. Like I said. Let's see, guys. He follows my finger. Sometimes, guys, you just gotta move your finger along the side of the tank to get their attention. I'm trying to bring him out of his shell, so I'm trying to do, guys. I had a beta that would basically, you know, Bart, the beta he, uh, Bart field. He would actually follow my finger. He would go up and down with it, side to side, and all that. So, this one here, he just might be a little, he just might require a little bit more. He requires a little bit more patience, which that's fine. I don't mind that. And guys, keep this in mind with every fish that you get. Some fish are more shy and bashful than others, so in this guy's case, he's a lot more he's a lot more shy. He's not as um outgoing yet because he's just gotten to the tank today. And I think I know the case is he wasn't being picked on by the toucher, so he's not he wasn't he probably was being chased by them. Like I said, he's just gotta warm up to the other one. Since he can get used to his environment, he'll be fine. But guys, usually given time to adjust fish, we'll start eating. Because this guy here, he ate about... This guy here, he ate about like three, four... He ate about three to four dots worth of food, like, easily. This one over here, Snoopy, he's... <laughs> He ain't touched much of anything just yet. Like I said, he's uh, still getting adjusted, so I'll give him some time to get to get acclimated to the environment that he's in. So I'll let him get used to where he's at. You know what I'm actually wondering, guys, while I'm sitting here, is if I was to drop a paw like right where he's at. Would he actually go after it? Well, we're going to go ahead and put the phone down here. So I'm going to go ahead here and move the lid back. And I'm going to put a pot right where he's at right now. So I'm going to go ahead here and cock the lid sideways for a minute so I can go ahead and give him a pellet. I think it's, yeah, it's getting carried down the other way. Oh, it didn't go the way I wanted to. Guys, what I did, ooh, there he goes, he's going to go for it, come on, come on over here and get it, come on, let's see guys, I think he's starting to eat, I got to back, I can probably back this, maybe the more, and I get, you can see better, let's see, Oh, he's eating something, guys. So guys, if you look at his mouth, he is opening and closing his mouth. So he's obviously eating something I gave him. 
He's obviously eating what's falling down to him. He's hoping he's not, you know, on the different side or on the sick side of things. But like I said, he's probably just getting used to everything. Uh-uh. Go this way, come in. Okay, so he's a little bit on the slow side, but I'll see if I can work with him while I'm sitting here. Trying to get him to trying to get him to realize the food's up here because he ain't gonna Let me use my, my light on my camera guys to get him to realize that the food's up that way. You know what's second, guys? Let me go ahead and get his attention so he can go up that way with it. Trying to figure out why he's not eating right off the bat, guys. You know, like I said, there is one that had, um, there is one that had yellow on the tail, and I, you know, I'm just wondering if, uh, I don't know if they had fed him before I came. That might have been the case, because when I went over, there was a, right around, yeah, it was 11 o'clock when I picked him up, so he probably could have eaten before I went to pick him up. Guys, I'm hoping he'll start eating here. Probably not. Um, next time I do a video on them, guys, he'll probably be eating by that point in time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it was so long. He just hasn't uh, really touched anything as of yet. Because, guys, if you look at Charlie Brown over here. I mean, look at Charlie Brown. He is absolutely healthy. He's just... So is this guy. It's not that he's not healthy. It's just that... He has to get adjusted to his tank, basically, is why I'm getting on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of Bart and Snoopy Dinner Time.